So Jacare Souza was released from the UFC, a guy that I don't I'm not gonna say is in the realms of a cowboy, but I mean should he have maybe retired already? Or should he maybe have been cut yeah, from the UFC earlier? Again, this is one of those, you know, uh former champion, not not in the UFC. Strike force. Uh, strike force champion. Yeah. Middleweight champion Jacare Souza. He has had a great career in, in obviously strike force in the UFC, a great mixed martial arts career. And to see a guy go out like that, like Oh, with the broken arm, that's like the worst possible way, right? Other than getting the, knocked out. That's not the first time it happened to Jacare. Mm -hmm. He's had his arm broke before. Mm -hmm. And and to see him go out that like that is really tough. But I think it was the right move from the UFC. I believe Jacare Souza is like 41, 42 years old. And I do feel like it's his time, especially after that horrific arm break. And dude, it might be one of the toughest guys in the world. To, to break your arm again and then to just be like smiling and be like, oh yeah, it's broke. Yep, mm. this is me. I'm just like, do you have any pain receptors? Do you have any nerves or is it, is it just gone? Like, I, I don't get that, bro. Yeah, well, it's the wildest thing. He won a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championship with a broken arm. Yeah, or I something know. like that. He's like, such he, a he literally got his arm snapped in half in a fucking arm bar. Yeah. In a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championship match and still won. Crazy. It's Crazy, wild. Crazy, dude. Crazy. So, he still says he wants to fight. I mean, who's going to pick him up? Do you think Scott Coker is going to take that? Why not? That's what he does. He, yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing. Like, if, if Jacques wants to fight, he has every right to fight. Without a doubt. I'm not so, going to tell him not to. No. And I, I know he's getting older, but it's not its not like he's getting his ass kicked. It's not like he's getting pummeled. Yes, he got knocked out by Kevin Holland. But that was, but I think that that was crazy. Was just, that was just a crazy situation. It was a situation. crazy knockout. Like, mm -hmm. who expects to get knocked out when you're uh, on being top. on top? Yeah, nobody. <laughs> no one. No one. So it was, it was kind of one of those freak things. And Shock didn't look bad in that fight up until that arm break, you know? So it's not like this guy's getting beaten to death every single fight where you're like, he's still competitive. we got to retire this guy. Yeah, exactly. he's still competitive. Still competitive. I mean, and especially in 185 pounds and Bella. Tour. Like, there's not a whole lot of guys I could think of that are super, super elite in that division other than, like, a Gegard Musasi, a Yoel Romero, if he still wants to cut weight, stuff like that. They were talking about how that, they are talking about that is actually a future fight that Scott Cooker wants to make. So, maybe. You never know. There's not a whole, that's not the most stacked division ever, though. I mean, you got uh, Austin Vanderford. Just got a big win yeah. at Bellator at uh, 185 pounds. So, I mean, it's it's building. It's yeah, definitely there's, building. There's and definitely Jacare Souza would add some star power to that. For sure.